are those CEOs getting wrong? What do they not see that you do that has not brought them fully on board as enthusiastically about the economic imperative behind an agreement? There's so much evidence uh, we can address climate change whilst having economic growth. And the more we wait, by the way, the more that similarity maybe does not apply. Moving from A to B gives winners and losers. And those who do not adapt will be the losers. Where do we go from here? What, a year from now, three years from now, before we get to the five-year theoretical ratchet point? The process has already begun. Companies now have a level of transparency which is required in some cases by regulation. Shareholders, civil society, are now demanding that companies act in a responsible manner. Does what happens this week matter three years from now from DSM? Or are you on a path that whether there's an agreement or whether there's not an agreement, you stick with that path? We are on this pathway already for quite a while because I'm anticipating that the world needs to change. We live only in this fossil age for 150 years. We did thousands of years without that and we live from natural resources. We will change into this bio-renewable age and live again from sun, wind, land, as we did before, but in a much more innovative way. What do you need to see from government to make that transition seamless and smooth and something that you run into as opposed to something that's forced on your colleagues? The fact that you have President Xi in the United States two months ago meeting with President Obama, both of them issuing statements, which were really quite far-reaching. It's a matter of delivering on those commitments. We, we still do see some technological gaps between the price of fossil fuels and the price of renewables because we don't have the technology to, to take advantage of, of renewables quite as much as, as we hopefully someday will. Wrong. You don't believe so? Wrong. Can you jeopardize the world with polluting and, and make things cheaper? Yes. But everything we have has a price also based on conventions. And what we did not realize and did not do here is we have 500 billion fossil subsidies. If we take that away, the whole fossil industry looks slightly different. If we add to that the price of pollution, which is not next, next, next generations, but the children of the people in this room are going to pay, then I think that a lot of alternative technologies are already competitive today. <laughs>